G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to do a tutorial on the fall off node float texture. Now, what is the fall off node to, um, the fall off node texture? Um, well, it's pretty simply. It's very simple. Um, according to Foos, the developer of it, the fall off node is a float texture that is shaded dependent on the viewing angle to the material. Alright, that's cool. Um, what's it used for? What, what could it, you know, be used for? Um, it could be used for fabric and architectural glass. It will give that, that sense of realism that you would see um, when looking at uh, any glass type of materials, any uh, fabrics, or any other painting and objects. So enough talking, let's just get right into it and you can see the difference for yourself. So I he I have here a model that I made. Uh, tutorial table. It's a quick table uh, texture with a nice little cloth sim on it. We'll just quickly change the scene a bit okay so the the textures that um, it mostly works with is diffuse and specular obviously fabric is diffuse and specular no, not specular, glossy, um, for the um, full of nodes. So let's load up um, two materials. Let's all right, first let's bring out the node texture. So the node texture is in textures full of full of node. Keep that up here. Next is the materials. Uh, bring out two diffuse and. Let's bring out a glossy. Okay. Now, the fall off node texture, there are three um, sliders here normal, grazing, and fall off node index. According to the website, um, the uh, developer, the normal map is the effects of the color of the surface direct at the viewing angle. So, zero would be black, one will be white, and vice versa, but the opposite for the grazing. The fall off um, index is the blending between these twos. Between these two, not twos, two. So let's see what we can do. We also need to add a material mix for it. Alright, so first thing we want to do is connect the fall off node to the mix material and then connect the Material mix to the diffuse to the the two diffuse, and then we're going to um, select the put the mix material to the cloth sim. So for the cloth sim, we're going to add a light blue for the first one, and then a dark blue for the other one. Or for this one, you can put a really nice white. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see a very big difference with the um, sh um, edges of it. Um, it looks far more realistic to what to um, one without it. So let's just do a comparison. So let's deconnect it. Very big difference. Um, let's just quickly change this back. So very, it's very diffuse. It's very unrealistic if you can put in that terms but with the shading uh, with the fall off node you can have these nice you have these nice edges that would look uh, that how it would look like on a real life cloth um, and we can also change the uh, also we change this so change it more the uh, shading a bit more Index. Uh, 
if you're ever going to use a cloth or if you're going to be using clo clothing for your characters clothing for your um, um, tables um, uh, furniture this is the right thing to do very useful very realistic and looks good alright so that's the um, the one for the cloth but what about the um, s the uh, glass specular well you see if you, let's just say you're doing a construction work and you uh, using a specular material Most, uh, you would probably not have a window, or you would probably put a very, you will probably put the opacity all the way down with a glass setting, um, since I'm staying still messy with the sunlight and the glass system. So, let's just give a test on the material here. So, put the glossy all the way up, a reflection here. Alright, so it's okay, I guess. I mean, with no full off mode, full off no texture, um, but it's still a bit unrealistic. So, if you were to add the add it to the the full off mode to the opacity, let's just see some changes. So, you know, right off the bat, you can see a great deal of change with the with the viewing angles of the texture. It's much more clean. Um, it's extremely more. What's the word for it? It's more controlled, definitely. And you have so much more um, controls over the uh, look of it. And it also um, is uh, taken into account. The um, shading is also taken into account with the sunlight. So this is very good for architectural glass. Um, it can slow down the rendering, I've noticed, um, on mine, and it can be very useful for other certain stuff. Uh, there's also a really crazy texture, which I do not know what you'll use it for, but I was just um, messing around with it, and look what happens when I do this. Let's put this to a blue. Ready? Oh, oh my god. This is in the trans... The, uh... What's it called again? Transmission. Node, and it looks crazy. It looks absolutely crazy. Wow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to quickly try something here. Which I think I will keep in. Experimenting is always good. So yeah, you can make really crazy um, textures that are look very crazy, very crazy. All with a full off texture node. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. have enjoyed this tutorial. hope it has shed some light on how to use the full-off texture. Um, you can experiment with other different techniques and areas. This is the most basic and pretty much the most effective way to do the full-off 
no texture. I um, hope it helps your architectural glass renderings and your fabric renderings. Uh, the next one will be black body emissions as I forgot to do that back like last June, July. Anyway, see ya.